Welcome to my Matter B2. Having an uh, matrix operation. Now, today we're going to talk about the uh, area and uh, matrix operation. But before we move on to, to this topic, I'd like to go back to what we did our last class. Uh, we talked about uh, MATLAB and matrix operation, where I said uh, MATLAB is a high level language and it's built specifically for scientific operations where you can do your modeling and simulation on the data visualization on it. And also you can carry out basic operation if you have your matrix operation, if you can solve your quadratic uh, equations, you can plot your graphs and solve uh, optimization problems. And also we have the advanced operations. Where we, this is where we have your robotics. In your robotics, MATLAB has already incorporated some uh, models, inbuilt models uh, for uh, the programmer to to carry on with uh, the operation, we have uh, seen it's an, uh, another, it's a, it has another interface, it's called a Simulink, where you can carry out your modeling and uh, simulation and, and robotics. There are, in, there are input models inside the Simscape, it's also inside a uh, Simulink, whereby all these equations, all your mechanical models are already incorporated into it so you just have to lift all these models into your workspace and then uh, edit some things on it or you can also write your own code by using the editor or uh, i don't think uh, it's necessary when you have uh, a model being built for you but only you can only write uh, codes that you can't find in the models so we have uh, artificial intelligence we have uh, machine learning computer vision image processing and uh, deep learning also MATLAB is not only used in the, in the school it's also, it's also used in the industry whereby uh, NISA use a uh, MATLAB and Simulink for their spheres uh, project and also MATLAB is used in competition to support this uh, competition pan African robotics competition there are also some other competitions which is an uh, international competition where matworks matworks is the they are, this is the company that they produce a uh, matlab so they support uh, other competition also you can also check more details on this uh, pan african robotics competition to get more details on it so now let's move to array and uh, matrix uh, operation before that, I would like to introduce the interface to you. So we have our we have our new script. We have this the command window whereby you can type your code. You can type your code. You can type your code. You it. But in this uh, interface, in the, on this uh, window, you can't save and you can't edit. That's why it is that's limitation. Then you go. We have editor in the script. So this is the editor. And this editor you can write your program, save it, edit it. So that's what that's the difference between the editor and the command window. And then we have our workspace. This is uh, where all your variables are being stored. So if you need access to your variable maybe you write a program and then you want to check the content of your variable you want to use it or you want to import it you want to export your variable you can use this workspace so you should know what i mean by variable as a programmer but if you are new to programming then uh, we talk about variable as we move on this is the current folder this is where you save all your project and then we have plot apps editors and likes we you, you will be familiar with all these uh tools as we move on. So let's move on to uh, matrix and operation. In MATLAB, uh, in, he said, uh, 
array and matrix operations. The array operation execute element by element operation. Then what do you mean by element by element? That's the the variable that store this element. Then we have our a. Let's see, we have our a. We want to write an array. An array can be one dimensional or two dimensional or multi dimensional. So let's try with one dimensional array. Then we have our array. So when you use semicolon to separate your numbers, to separate numbers, that means you are telling MATLAB that the number should move on to the next line. So this and this is the wrong button. This is what you use to run your project. You save and run. But, but from, for me, I'm not saving. So I will use the run section. So, so that means MATLAB is bringing all these uh, numbers, all these input numbers, all the numbers you input into this uh, variable. That means you are telling MATLAB that you want it to be on a single column by using this semicolon to separate the numbers and this is our workspace this is, uh, this is the variable here so the variable is being stored here so let's try to use comma to separate these numbers so once we use comma to separate these numbers then you see the difference between the comma the between comma and the uh, and the um, semicolon you see here yeah, you have two three four five that means it's not it's not on the it's not on the single column again it's on the single row so that's the difference between semicolon and comma so let's carry out some basic operations on the uh, matrix then we have our uh, hey this what well, you have our first element then let's create another second element which is b then we have 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 then what's the operation want to carry let's add a plus b result and let's pass this result into let's pass this operation into a variable let's call it result so we are going to store the answer for a plus b into this variable result so let's run section and we have our result into the uh, in this uh, workspace so our result this uh, element by element wise operation 5 plus 2 7 6 plus 3 9 7 plus 4 11 5 plus 8 13 so this is just a basic uh, array operation and then if you want to carry out multi-dimension operation then you have to follow the rules and matrix operation matrix operations follows the rules of linear algebra and are not compatible with many dimensional arrays so when you are trying to perform matrix operation you know the rules it's been taught in the rules are being taught in class as an engineering student you know the rules of a matrix operation so let's try to write a, a matrix let's carry out some operations on the matrix let's turn this this is a one dimensional array let's turn this into in this these four columns let's turn this into two rows four columns so let's insert another row so if you want to insert another row you use a semicolon and i said earlier that semicolon means you are telling MATLAB that you should move all the no, all the input figures that you put after the semicolon into the next line so now i want to write six comma seven comma eight comma nine so this this two by four matrix and then five six comma seven comma eight and let's see what we happen let's multiply this I re let's use mul let's multiply this multiply so if you multiply this let's see what will happen it's going to give us error which is inner matrix dimension was I did. So I wanted to make it make, make make it clear to you that before you carry out any matrix operation, you have to follow the rules of matrix. So inside inner matrix dimension must agree. There are some this is the 
one, one of those rules in the matrix that is want to carry out operation then let's say you want to carry out two by three that means two rows three columns then the next element must be what the inner dimension m by m i don't know how to put this let me just let me write it here on the command window so just m m by n that means times it should be times n n by n so in our matrix dimension must agree this n and n we must agree which is not happening here so let's change this into we have uh, 2 by 4 column 2 by 4 matrix and 2 by 4 matrix so we must for this operation to be successful we have to have we have to have 4 by 2 as the second element or we're going to carry out dot multiplication so just carry out dot multiplication and this dot multiplication is element by element wise multiplication so let's run this and we have our result as an element by element wise multiplication so but if you want to carry out a matrix operation that is cross multiplication let's say you want to carry out cross multiplication then you're going to need to change the dimension of b into four rows two columns so let's remove this four rows two columns and this is going to be these have to be okay. one two three then we need, we need another we need another right nine comma ten another group now we have our one two three four we have our four rooms so let's run this thing issue run now so we have our result that's a cross multiplication in the matrix so we have another, some other basic command in MATLAB whereby if you use your hand to solve it it's going to take a long time like a determinant like your inverse like others so let's try some commands a determinant of a let's run this matrix must be square so when you are taking your determinant you know matrix must be what square that is number of two by two two by two three by three three by three. the second element will also be what three by the first element is two by two that means the rows and colors must be the same so now we have uh let's reduce this we have four rows let's reduce this two by two you have to move you have to be deleted so now you have two by two, then our operation can run now. In our matrix dimension, must have been determinant of A. No. Okay. C equals A. C L C. And then mind you, CLC, if you want to clear your command, CLC. In a matrix dimension, must agree. Let me clear this. This is what is being as well. So, CLC, we have CLC in uh, MATLAB. CLC means clear command. I just want to clear what is in this uh, command window. Then, clear means you want to clear the workspace. And this has gone. So, let's run section. Then, we have our determinant. We have inverse. We have inverse. Inverse of A. We have our inverse. We have our magic. We have our high. We have various command or MATLAB on this. So you can check. You can try to get more details on these functions. So you have your determinant. You have your inverse. You have your transpose. You can also transpose your your you can transpose your uh, matrix by putting this 
on top. Now this one, one section. Then you have your transpose. So these are the results of what you are typing, of what of the code you are you've written. So that's basic things on the matrix and matrix operation. So for you to to be well accustomed to to uh, MATLAB, you need to understand this very well. All this matrix operation because that's the foundation of MATLAB. You are going to be working on matrix and uh, on matrix and arrays. So once you understand it, then you be better on MATLAB. You're able to do some advanced projects. You're able to do much projects on uh, MATLAB because this is a sophisticated software. So now, uh, before we end the class, I will have to. I want. To, I want to show you an interface whereby, when if you write your code, instead of asking your user to come here and see your code you can put all your codes as a back end and then you introduce an interface for your user if by chance we are uh we, are, we still have time before we end this uh program we'll talk about the gui briefly but let me just show you the interface so we have guide on matlab which means uh they call it a gui you pronounce it give that means guided uh, user interface so if you are if you are used to python or matlab uh, or java sorry python you use is like thinkinta in a uh, python and a uh, swing in uh, in java so let's try to get to our GUI. so now it said create new GUI added user interface which we call it gui but most times we call it gui it's pronounced gui so, okay so once you press okay it's going to load so now we have this gui and this is our uh button button command we have text editor you can set everything you can you can write an interface you have your you have your table you have your radio button whereby you can turn on and off you have your toggle button and all these components you can put it and write a back end code for it so instead of your user coming here into your into the editor and writing and running the program you can just bring this provide an you can just provide an interface for the user and continue and the user we continue to use your program and then you i think uh, matlab has introduced this uh standalone software whereby you can publish your own desktop application on matlab so those are the basic function of uh, of uh, other functions of a uh, matlab then we have no message so we have also have simulink in matlab for those in electric uh electrical engineering mechanical engineering and uh, chemical engineering and some other departments you will i think for you to to to, to uh you, you will need this uh simulink in most of your project so we have simulink So we have Simulink here. So we have you, have you can create your blank model. And just let me show you an uh, existing model, some kind of project. You can create a, if you want to start your own, you create a blank model and um, start putting the component inside. So I'm telling you all this for you to to know how powerful MATLAB is. We have to wait till this simulation start. Okay, 
Let me pause this until it's 